in this video we will discuss about uh, one of the important or one of the potential drug that is ivermectin and it has been uh, presented in the paper as one of the paper as anti cancer drug so what are the characteristics that has been presented and what are the signals that this ivermectin modifies that helps in reducing the tumor within the patient we will go through that things so let us start with the introductions so introduction so what i ivermectin acts upon is acts upon a pac uh, pac1 signal it reduces the cancer stem cells growth and if it is used with other chemotherapy it can be very much effective and it can ev even uh, reverse the multi drug resistance that has been developed uh, with time and it can promote the cell that use uh, through three different process one is apoptosis autophagy and these two are acted uh, are act upon mutually uh, by means that apoptosis and autophagy can communicate to each other and this pyroptosis it can also activate cell that program cell that through pyroptosis that is by uh, introducing immunogenical uh, response and in terms of signaling it will affect uh, this uh, multiple pathways uh, some of these are mentioned here akt mtor wnt beta catin mapk map kinesis etc and that will leads to anti cancer effect and it will reduce the growth rate of the cell as we in one of the characteristic of cancer is that the growth rate of cell is uh, increase growth rate of cell is very high and then pro proliferate uh, or or suppress the proliferation metastasis and angiogenesis metastasis means spread of tumor from one part of the body to another part it will suppress those things we will understand uh, about the signaling pathway in details in the next few slides or next couple of slides so first one shows about the uh, parp uh, pathway activate so uh, what the paper has uh, presented is that ivermectin uh, will uh, initiate the ros or activate uh, the ros that leads to up regulation of uh, bux uh, gene and down regulation of bcl2 uh, gene and it will also uh, affect the membrane of the mitochondria membrane of the mitochondria uh, uh, will get uh, less fragile you can say or will get uh, more uh, permeable and because of this the cytosine can release into the cyto cytosine uh, can release into the cytoplasm and uh, in cytoplasm as when a cytosine is present in the cytoplasm it will affect the signaling pathway uh, that is it will affect from pro uh, cas space 9 to apoptosome it will induce this uh, pathway it will induce this pathway that will uh, that will uh, further increase the uh, cas space 9 to cas space 3 and then finally activates the parp and this cas space 3 and parp can induce the apoptosis within the uh, cancerous cells so in this pathway uh, because of the ivermectin the apoptosis of the tumor or cancerous cells gets activated and the another uh, uh, signaling uh, pathway that will be affected by ivermectin that promotes the death of the cell is presented here that uh, now this pathway is related to pac1 so ivermectin will um, so here here is the normal pathway that uh, will uh, that will work uh, that is uh, in case of absence of ivermectin first we will discuss what will happens this pac1 and uh, akt will uh, phosphorylate the akt pathway and it will then inhibit the mtor by phosphorylation of mtor and it will then uh, not affect the uh, backlin one 
and because of this it will uh, uh, because of the presence of these three uh, proteins that is baclin 1 atg 14 and pik c3 uh, autophagosome will get activated however because of the uh, in normal process because of the phosphorylation of mTOR this uh, baclin 1 will not be able to uh, will not be affected and uh, this will uh, lead to autophagosome however in case of ivermectin in uh, ivermectin the PAK1 uh, will get affected and it will be diverted towards it will be uh, it, uh, ubiquitation uh, it will be diverted to uh, it will be diverted for ubiquitation via uh, this uh, proteasome that is present in within the uh, cells and because of this the phosphorylation of AKT will not be done and because of this the and uh, as a result the mTOR uh, pathway will not be inhibited and as this pathway will not be inhibited it will not uh, inhibit the for it will not uh, reduce the uh, formation of baclin 1 in normal case Peclin 1 has been reduced by this phosphorylated mTOR however in case of uh, ivermectin uh, uh, affected uh, ivermectin uh, present uh, affected cells this uh, mTOR to phosphorylated mTOR pathway is inhibited and thus uh, the uh, Peclin 1 uh, will not be controlled by this pathway and the presence of all these three will activate the autophagosome and that will uh, finally lead to autophagy or the we can say in general terms program cell death so these are the two signaling uh, pathway that are majorly uh, promotes uh, program cell death for tumor uh, for tumor or cancerous cells uh, in order to find more details about this ivermectin uh, you can go through the reference that is available in the description so that's all for this video thank you for your time